Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, and I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties, and I just wanted to come to you really quick to show you how to do a simple um, sunrise. So I know Easter is coming up, and I just wanted to kind of challenge all of y'all to do Easter online. So what I mean by that is I want you to paint using three colors. I want you to paint using three colors in Easter sunrise, okay? So here, I'm just gonna kind of point this down and just show you a very, very, very simple way. Under this is a huge um, piece of plywood that I'm working on for an Alice in Wonderland, but I put some clear, so don't worry, it's not gonna get hit, so when I go off the, the canvas. But I wanted to show you real quick, all you're gonna do is pick three different colors, okay? You wanna pick three colors that are in the color family. And as you come on, if you don't mind saying hi and telling me where you're from, I would love to see where you're from. Okay, so three colors. And these three colors I chose are, um, I have them upside down. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you the colors first. I have, um, and you just wanna make sure when I say in their color family, is whenever you're starting to mix them. Hey guys, hey Melissa, hey Kelly, hey Charlotte. You want to be able to mix them without them turning into a color that's not going to work, right? So if I was to take a, um, a blue and start to mix with this, it's going to be a greenish color. So we don't want a green color in our sunset. Or maybe you do want that. I don't know. It's up to you. So I just want to teach you a simple way of taking three simple colors and then creating our Easter sunrise. Hey guys, go ahead and say hi when you get on here. And so the first color I'm going to use is Orange Twist. And I'm gonna paint this sideways. So I'm just putting the color on. The second color I'm gonna use is coral. And then the third color I'm using is royal fuchsia. And this is just a very easy way. So you could do this as yourself or with your kids or whatever, you know, just to make something fun for Easter. Because here's the thing, just because we are not able to, you know, technically be with all our family on Easter or go to church on Easter, it doesn't mean that the celebration stops, right? We still celebrate. And so what I'm going to be using is I'm going to start with my lowest color and I'm going to my, um, on the lower end, and I'm going to do a figure eight. So I'm literally taking my hand and doing a figure eight, Okay. So how many of y'all are gonna try this, this easy sunrise? It's gonna be just a couple of steps. And what I wanted to just remind y'all is that no matter, now that I've got that on there, I'm just gonna pull this in. See how when I pull that figure eight, it starts to do a blend, almost like an ombre. Okay, so I start to just blend it in, pulling that figure eight. And now I'm gonna to move to the top part. And so I still have not washed my brush. There's a paint booger. I've not, oh, big paint booger, oh my gosh, gross. Have not washed my brush and just bringing this over. So here's something really cool. So if you did this with your kids, your grandkids, or maybe let's say that you know, you're not able to be with them this Easter, this is still something that you could do on a FaceTime with each other um, or create it and then share it with them later. Because look, that literally took what, five minutes, if that, and went from the, the lightest to the darker color in just a matter of seconds. It was like nothing. It just took a few seconds to do that. So once I have that on there, oh, I started getting splatter paint on my Alice in Wonderland. Oopsie, I started a little bit of splatter paints happening over there. But this is the basic part. So here's the thing I wanna challenge you, is, um, hey Sherry, um, hey Lisa, paint boogers I know, all over my hands. Um, here's the thing, is Easter, yes, it is gonna be different this year. Like, we can't help that, right? but that does not mean that we cannot celebrate. Um, so I wanna challenge you with the, 
you know, do a FaceTime with your family. If they're able to do something like this, then of course do something fun like this. But I challenge you to do an Easter sunrise, paint an Easter sunrise and still have hope. Because like we said, we are going to get through this. I promise you, this time will pass. And as much as, you know, it feels like we're in March 47th, Groundhog Day, I promise this time will pass. So right here, we're doing an Easter sunrise. I took three colors only, orange twist, anybody can do this. Then I went to coral, and then I went to royal fuchsia. And all I did was a figure eight starting at the bottom. So in just a second, I'm gonna show you how to do like a little bit of a silhouette if you wanna add a cross to it. And then also I wanted to challenge you um, to tell me in the comments what three colors could you use for your sunrise. Um, so you could do like a pink, a purple, and maybe a different color purple and um, to have it all start to go. Oh, we have Liz, is it Lizette from Puerto Rico? Hello, that's awesome. Um, because he lives, we can face tomorrow because he is already there. Yes, oh my gosh, there's so, so much hope. Um, so this week you know is very very important to a lot of people out there and this friday and this sunday is very very important to a lot of people out there do not do not um think that you can't celebrate easter because you can you can celebrate easter doing something like this you can celebrate easter in your homes all of those things that can still happen can still happen okay so let me grab some black i'm going to do a silhouette of the cross really quick so I can show y'all. And while I'm grabbing my black paint, if you don't mind um, putting which three colors you're gonna use, okay? Oh, thank you, Dana. And this is so simple. Literally took, what, just a couple of minutes? We could add some glitter. Okay, let me go grab my black paint. And then I'm also gonna grab another sunset I did to show y'all the difference. Okay, so here's a couple of other ideas. And um, this was done with purples. Can y'all see that okay? This was done with different purples. I know I saw some comments in there with purples. And I just kind of started in the middle with a lighter shade and then brought it out. So that's an option too. And then this one I did a long time ago, actually, I don't know if I did this. Oh yeah, I did do this one a long time ago. This was something years ago I saw kind of online and then I just kind of made my own take to it. But this is something too that you can use with a paper towel technique. So you could take your colors, get them on there, and then you take a paper towel and you just smush it. Almost like a little smush and then it just gives this textured look. So this is another idea too. So you could get really, really, really crazy creative with it. Or you can just do kind of a simple, a simple like I did with just three colors right here. That's all you have to do. Okay, awesome. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Diane says, I want to start one. I'm um, waiting for Mother's Day to sign up. Paint Party Headquarters, May 10th. Ah, I can't wait. Oh my gosh, we have been, we have been so excited. We have some, finally having the doors open on May 10th. Okay, so I'm going to use the black paint. And I think my um, painting is still wet. And Pixie dyed her hair the other day, so she used my blow dryer to see if her hair color came out right. And um, so I don't have my blow dryer in here. Usually I would have it the blow dryer. So we're gonna see. I'm just gonna go like paint wet on wet. Um, yeah, you could use a sponge sponge for sure. Okay, so I'm going to do wet on wet, so it's not probably going to look as good. And then I'm just going to use this over here to put my black paint because I moved a bunch of stuff in my art studio and I can't find it. So just a simple way, and again, you can do this by yourself or with kids or however. You can put a couple of hills on here. Can y'all see this? Do I have it pointed down enough? Yeah, it's kind of mixing a little bit. I need that blow dryer. 
<laughs> you can put a couple heels on here and just make it into a silhouette. I'm going to show you all the paper towel technique. Yeah, definitely need the blow dryer. <laughs> definitely. Okay, so let me show you um, a little bit of the paper towel technique. Okay, so let's say I just want to get some color on here. I'm just going to use the same messy brush. Hey Maria, hey guys. And I'm just going to dab it on here because I want this to have, that's kind of a cool look. That's the thing when you're, when you start painting, you start to do things, you're like, oh, maybe I'll like it like that, where it kind of has it in the background a little. I kind of like that. I was about to do this and show you all the paper towel technique, but actually now I don't think I want to do it. I think I kind of like that. So what I'm going to do is let this dry and then I'm going to go over the crosses again and add in some more. And I might even come in and add a little bit lighter in here. But for this live, I just wanted to show you how super, super simple this could be. So again, three colors. Three colors that are typically in the same color family. Start with a big brush. Do a, you know, figure eight. And then just squirt it on there. Figure eight and keep it going. Um, super, super simple. An easy way to um, bring Easter into your home. Um, guys, do not, do not let this week pass um, just because we can't go to a church or we can't go to our family where maybe you have like a big family egg hunt you do every year. Um, just because that can't happen does not mean you can't celebrate. So I just wanna say I love you guys. Um, I know this is hard. I know it's um, extremely uncomfortable is the, the least <laughs> that we could say. It's, it's something that we're not, nobody is, um, it's crazy how everybody is affected. You know, some people way, way more than others. And my heart goes out to you. I'm so thankful at this time in my life that my family right now is healthy for the most part. Um, but things change so rapidly and we don't know what's going to happen. But what we can do, we know that God's mercies are new every single day. And we know that this will pass. And I just want to encourage you to take some time to create and take some time to make something new. And um, whether it's a simple, you know, three color cross, you know, that you're going to create with your family or whether it's, you know, my ginormous Alice in Wonderland that I'm really excited about creating and I'll try to share with you. But do not let this week pass and just have it be nothing. Like we know, you know, he hears us and we know that um, there's so, so much we can still be grateful for. So um, I hope that you, you will take this challenge. I hope that you will paint an Easter sunrise and I'd love to see you um, post it. I'd love to see what you do and what you come up with. So have a great day today, guys, and I hope y'all have a wonderful week. All right, bye. Talk to you soon.